Hello and welcome to GEFIT, learning together Daf Yomi, more in-depth, Rashi and Tosfot every week. I'm Yael Shimoni, bringing to you with Yeshiva Trisha and Hadran, our weekly learning, and we're beginning Masechat Yevamot, which is not easy. And our GEFIT today is going to be a little more difficult than usual, because we're going to try to look at a very long sugiah that started in Daf Gimel and continued till Daf Chet which is asking questions that are regarding the entire world of Torah and mitzvot. And in specific, what is the relationship between mitzvot, which are mitzvot aseh, and mitzvot lot aseh? And as we will see, the Gemara itself is pretty sophisticated and the Rishonim, Rashi and Tosfot here, have a very big machloket, which is very interesting regarding the mitzvot and Yibum in itself. So we'll be asking, does a mitzvah ase, so is a mitzvah ase so strong that it can overcome a mitzvah lot ase that also has karet? So let's begin. First, we'll walk with the Gemara, and then we'll go into Rashi and into Tosu. So we begin our journey in Daf Gimel. The Gemara there asked, a very specific question regarding Yibum. Yibum, as you all know already, since you started learning the Masechta, is a very unique situation because we have an Isur Erva. A man is not allowed to uh, marry his brother's wife. However, if the brother died without children, he has a mitzvah to be Yabim, his brother's wife. So there's a mitzvah that is contradicting an Isur. The Isur is Isur Eshet Ach. And suddenly we have Mitzvah Yuvum that says, even though there's an Isur of Eshet Ach, you still have to take this woman as your wife. How can that be? So if that's what the Torah says, obviously this is what we have to do. So maybe the strength of Mitzvah Yuvum is such a strong strength that it can overcome all arise of all kinds. Here, the Gemara teaches us that not all of the arayas can be overcome by mitzvah yibum. Only ervat eshet ach, but other arayot cannot be overcome by the mitzvah of yibum. Ask the Gemara, how do we know this? How do we know that the mitzvah of yibum is not totally strong, does not overcome all of the arayot, only overcomes ervat eshet ach? Says the Brayta, the following, Tanu Rabanan. The Brita is deciding to learn this and is teaching us to learn. The idea that Yubum is not a strong mitzvah that overcomes all of the Arayat, only Erva Eshet Ha'ach, and not other Arayas, because we have two psukim that are contradictory, but are connected together with a word, a specific word. One pasuk is the pasuk in Vaikra that says that a man cannot marry two sisters. And this pasuk says, Lo tikach litzror legalot ervata aleha and the psukim of Yibum say, We have the word Aleha in the Pasuk and Vayikra, which talks about the Easter of having two sisters. And we have the Pasuk of Yibum that says that you have to be Meyabem, a woman, which is your brother's wife. Says the Brita, this is how you learn that you have to be Miyabi, your brother's wife, but if you reach the arva of Torel, Isha Lachota Litzrol, two sisters, no, you're not Miyabi. So from the word Aleha, we connect these two psukim and we create this mitzvah of Yibum as a mitzvah that is not totally covering all the world of Arias, but only covering partially part of the world of Arias. And we learned this from the word Aleha. Here, the Gemara is using a very important way of learning. And it says that if there is a Pasuk that teaches us something, therefore, if the Pasuk would not have been written, we would have thought differently. And that's what the Gemara continues and says. We learn from the Brayta that we learned this from the word Aleha, 
תמא דכתב רחמנה עליה, הלאו הכי, הווה אמינא, אחות אישה מייבן. מהי תאמה? דאמרינא נעשה, אתי עשה, ודחי לא תעשה. says the Gemara, because we learn from the Brisa that we need to have this word Aleah to tell us that you cannot be meyabim other arise. Therefore, we learned that if this word would not have been written, we would have thought on our own accord that you will be meyabim all of the arise. Why? Because mitzvot ase will come and overcome dache, the mitzvah of lot ase. Continues the Gemara and asks, okay, maybe you think this, that a mitzvah ase is so strong that it can take over mitzvah lot ase. Is that true also in a situation that you have a mitzvah lot ase which is strong? Eimar de amrin anatei vedache ate ase vedache lot ase lot ase greida. Lot ase sheesh bo karet mi dachei. Vetu lot ase greida minalan da dachei. So, This Gemara is the opening for a very large sugiah, that the sugiah is asking these two questions. Is there a law that, in general, mitzvot ase are stronger than mitzvot lot ase? And if that law is true, does that law include also strong mitzvot lot ase, mitzvot lot ase that have karet in them? These two questions, as we said in the beginning, are not dealing with specifically with Yubum. These are questions that are interesting to the whole idea of mitzvot. Do we have some mitzvot that are stronger than others? How do we know which mitzvah is stronger if we have mitzvah ase, mitzvah lot ase, and if we have special mitzvot ase and special mitzvot lot ase? So here, as you saw, the Gemara in Daf Dalet deals with the first fact. with the first law, mitzvat ase dachei lo tase. And that law is proven in the Gemara, but the Gemara does not understand and does not explain the logic behind that proof. So I want to begin with asking the following questions. After we learn that mitzvat ase is dachei lo tase, let's ask the simple question, why? Why does the mitzvat ase has such strength? And after we'll understand why, we'll ask in what way is that mitzvah dealing with the mitzvah lo tase? And is it so strong that it will cover also strong mitzvah lo tase? And of course, we'll go back to Yubu and ask, does all this help us understand more facts about the mitzvah of Yubu? So let's begin by answering the first question, why? Why is the mitzvah tase stronger than the mitzvah lo tase? We'll quote a famous Ramban that answers this question. And the Ramban speaks about the mitzvah of Shabbos in Sefer Shmot. The Ramban deals with the two different faces of Shabbos. Shabbos has mitzvot aseh, which are mitzvot zahor. And Shabbos also has mitzvot lot aseh, mitzvot shamur. Says the Ramban, mitzvot aseh gdola mi mitzvot lot aseh, kmo shehava גדולה מהיראה. כי המקיים ועושה בגופו בממונו רצון אדוניו הוא גדול מהנשמר ומעשות הרע בעיניו. לכן אמרו דעת היעשה ודחי לא תעשה. says the Ramban, you, Yael, might have a wrong impression of the Torah. You might think that the mitzvot lot asse of Shabbos are stronger or more important than the mitzvot asse of Shabbos, but you don't understand. It is true that the mitzvot of lot asse of Shabbos, you have a big iser on them and you will be punished, a punishment of karet. And other mitzvot lot asse have also punishments, different kinds of punishments. So you might think that the punishment shows you what's the most important thing. In a mitzvot asse, if you don't do it, then you're punished only by malkot mardut from the Rabbanan. There is no punishment with your right on not doing mitzvot ase. So you might think that ase is not as strong as mitzvot lot ase. That is not true. The opposite, the contrary is true. Mitzvot ase are from ahava. Mitzvot lot ase are from yira. Yira is stronger than ahava. And therefore, mitzvot ase is dache lot ase. So let's take this Ramban and put it into our Gemara. And then we understand that of course mitzvot aser are stronger because they're from the world of ahava, of love, which is stronger than the world of yirah, and therefore they overcome the mitzvot lotaseh when they contradict one another. So that was an answer 
for the question, why? Let's see, is this Ramban really working on the Gemara and also in Rashi and in Tosfut? For, to, in order to answer this question, we have to ask ourselves, according to the Ramban, does it matter if the mitzvah lotase is a very severe mitzvah lotase or just a regular mitzvah lotase? If you ask me, I think logically, according to what the Ramban said, it won't matter. A mitzvah ase is always stronger than a mitzvah lotase, always, because it's from the world of love. After we thought about that, let's see what the Gemara does, because now the Gemara in Daf He continues to ask, does a mitzvah ase overcome a mitzvah lotase that has karet in it? Which is exactly the question that we're interested in. Says the Gemara the following. The Gemara asks, do we know, do we have proof? Can we see from other mitzvot that there is a rule that ase is dachilot ase that has karet in it? And here the Gemara brings us three candidates, three different mitzvot that we know are dachay, mitzvot lot ase that have karet. These three candidates are mila, pesach, and tamid. Mila, Pesach, and Tamid are three mitzvot ase that we are being mechal as Shabbos in order to do this mitzvot ase. Bring Mila, you're mechal as Shabbos to do Mila, and Korban Pesach, you're mechal as Shabbos to bring Korban Pesach, and the Korban of Tamid, you're mechal as Shabbos to, to do Korban Tamid. So maybe we learn from each and every one of these, or from two, or from all of them together, that we have a general rule that mitzvot ase are dache, also, mitzvah lot say that has correct. The Gemara claims that this is not a good way to learn. Why? Because each one of these mitzvot is special in a different way. Brit Mila is special because it's a mitzvah ase that has correct if you don't do it, which is a very rare situation that a mitzvah ase has a punishment. Also, Brit Mila 13 times has the word Brit in it. So you can't take Brit Mila to learn a general rule because Brit Mila obviously is a special mitzvah. Pesach, says the Gemara, is also special because it has an Isur Karet in it. It, it has, it's an Ase that you are high of Karet if you don't do it. And again, this is very, very abnormal in the world of Mitzvot uh, Ase. Actually, Pesach and Brit Mila are the two only Mitzvot Ase that you have this about them. So maybe we can learn from Tamid. Says the Gemara, no, you cannot learn from Tamid because Tamid is every day. So maybe this is the strength of this mitzvah. And also continues the Gemara, you can't learn from all of these together because they're all before Matan Torah were given. And how about the other mitzvah that were given after Matan Torah? So the Gemara here finishes by saying, well, we did not find a good candidate to prove that mitzvot ase are dachim mitzvot lutase that have karet. It's true, we have a number of these, but it's because they are specifically very, very special mitzvot asa. Continues the Gemara and says, well, I have a new candidate. I have a mitzvah, which is not every day and does not have karet if you don't do it. It's a regular mitzvah asa. It was given after a that he brought. Which mitzvah is that? Kibud horim. Maybe we can learn from kibud horim that mitzvot ase or dachi, mitzvot lot ase, that have karet in them. The Gemara says that it's a good idea. Maybe we can actually prove it. How can we prove that? Because we have a brighter that says, there is a pasuk, ish imo ve'aviv tirau ve'et shabtotai tishmohu. Why do we have this pasuk? Yechol ye kibud avahem doche shabbat, says the brighter. You might have thought, that if your parents ask you to be Michal al Shabbos, to cook for them or to be shechting for them on Shabbos, maybe it's a mitzvah ase that you have to do because they ask you and it's mitzvah ase of kibudurim and it will be dachei lot ase. Talmud loma says God, ishimo ba'viftirau ve'et shabtotai tishmo. God said, no. Even though you might have thought that if your parents ask you to be Michal al Shabbos, you have to listen to them, no. Shabtotai tirau ani Hashem. Listen to me. God emphasizes that Shabbos is stronger than mitzvot kibud hori. Says the Gemara. My love, the Amar leishachot li basheli v'tamad katav rachmanet shabtotai tishmoru alav ha'chidachay. 
the Gemara says, maybe this is our proof because we see here exactly what we saw in the beginning. If God has to say something specifically, obviously, if he would not have written Ani Hashem, we would have really had a different law. The law would have been that Kibbut Harim is Dachei Shabbos. That's why God had to say specifically Ani Hashem. So here, this is our proof. Obviously, if we have to teach it, it means that without a specific teaching, the general rule is that a mitzvah ase is dachay, a mitzvah lot ase that has karet. Well, maybe we found our rule. Maybe the Ramban is right. Maybe mitzvah ase are always stronger than all of the other mitzvah lot ase because they're from the world of love. Here, suddenly the Gemara says an interesting statement. It says, no, love the mechamir. What does this? Well, the Gemara wanted to learn from Kibbut Orim and wanted to prove that Kibbut Orim means that parents ask you to be Michal Shabbos in a chilul that is karet. But the Gemara says, no, maybe your parents ask you to do something with your behema, to, to, to take a stick and tell your behema to walk somewhere. That is also a chilul Shabbat, but it's not a chilul Shabbat that is chay of karet. It's only a chilul Shabbat that is chay of love. Where do we learn this? Chilul Shabbat from in the Kiddush of Shabbos morning, we say, Leman Yanuach, Atau bincha vitecha, Avdecha veamatchau veimtecha, Vgircha asher bisharecha. The menucha is also on your behema, but this is only a sur belav. It's not one of the mitzvot of Lota said that is Chayav Karet and Shabbos. So the Gemara says, You can't prove anything from this Brighter. Maybe the Brighter is talking about parents who told you to use your animal on Shabbos. And well, there indeed you might have thought that you have to hear your, to your parents. That's why God said Ani Hashem. But he wouldn't have said that if he would have been asked to be Michal Shabbos in one of the Melachon. That's what the Gemara on Daf He says in the beginning of Daf Vav. And then we have a very, very hard passage in Daf Vav, a passage that Rashi reads one way and all the other Rishonim read differently. This passage says, no. This idea that it's love of Mechamer is not true. No, 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 no. We're talking really about a parent who asks his children to be Mechal Shabbos hardcore. And still, this is not a good enough answer. Why? Says the Gemara, Ela mishum de'ikale mifrach ma lehanach sheken hechsher mitzvah. How will we read this sentence? Rashi has a very interesting way of reading this sentence. Rashi says the following. Ela, le'olam de'amar le'ishchot li basheli, ve'afilu achi lo itzdrich alea de'ika le'mifrach ma le'anach shchot li basheli, sheken ekshar mitzvah b'chilul Shabbat ba'akirat lo ta'ase, hu mekayem ase le'kibudorim, ve'zehu ekshar kiyumo, ve'i efshar le'kayemo b'li akirat lav, ilechach, ilo katav shabtotai tishmau, haba amina lidchi, aval yibum, lo ze bilvad ekshar kiyum ha'ase, says Rashi, what the Gemara says here, that indeed there is a law that mitzvot ase are stronger than mitzvot lot ase that have karet. Yes, and we learn that from kibud orim. Yes, that is true. But that learning cannot help us with learning and understanding the mitzvah of yibum. Why yibum? does not overcome all of the arrives. Why does not help us understand the mitzvah of Yibum? Because, says Rashi, there's a very big difference between Yibum and Shabbos. What's the difference? Says Rashi, if my parents tell me to be Michal of Shabbos, to be shechting on Shabbos, the only way that I can do the mitzvah, I say if I will actually shecht on Shabbos, that's really a face on contradictory. That's why I would have thought that here the Ase of Kibbutzim would be stronger than, than the, the Lot Ase of Shabbos, but God told me that Lot Ase of Shabbos is still here. That's true because there's only one way to be doing the mitzvah Ase. There is a real contradiction. But Yibum, says Rashi, there's no real contradiction. You can always, instead of Yibum, do Chalitza. So Yibum is never really contradicting the mitzvah Lot Ase that has courage. And therefore, you will never have thought that it would overcome, because in order for a mitzvah asa to overcome a lot of karet, it really has to contradict. And in Yibum, you have two ways to do the mitzvah of Yibum. A, Yibum, B, Chalitza. 
this is a very, very special sheet of Rashi. Let's just follow the three things that Rashi told us here. A, first Rashi, there is a law that a mitzvah ase is strong, that it is dache, lot ase that has courage. As the idea that the Ramban said, mitzvah ase is strong because it's ahava. But says Rashi, of course, it's only dache if there's real contradiction, because then you need to be doche. So that's the only situation that a mitzvah ase will be doche lot ase that has courage. But we stay with the idea that mitzvah ase are stronger then we told Lotase. Where did we learn this from? Said Rashi, we learned it from Kibudarim because Kibudarim would have thought that it would have been doche. Only God told us not, not to be doche. But bottom line, if God didn't say anything, Mitzvah Rase has to be doche. Mitzvah Lotase has courage. And Yibum says Rashi, that's a different story. Why? Because Yibum has two ways of being Mekayim Yibum. You could be, be doing Yibum by Yibum and you could be doing Yibum by Chalitza. Tosfot is in big machloket with this Rashi. But before we continue the machloket with Rashi here, let's just say that Rashi is not the only one who said this. We don't know if Rashi was passing this for halacha, but we have another Rishon, Sefer HaKitut, that really brings this klal, halacha, and he's passing this klal, klal de milta, kol says the Sefer HaKitut. So we see, that we have Rashi, we have Sefer Kritut, and we have the idea that the Ramban gave us on the Ramban on the Torah. However, as I stated before, Tosfot disagrees with Rashi. The Ri in the Tosfot disagrees with Rashi, and we see that in Daf Gimel, and we see that in Daf Chet, and we see that in a few other places in these Daf that you learn. So first, let's look at the Tosfot in Daf Gimel and Mudbet. Tosfot, when the Sugiah begins and asks, how do you know? That a mitzvah ase is dache, a love that has karet. Ask the Tosfot there in Daf Gimel a very interesting question, a question that you can appreciate now after you learn these dapi. Ask the Tosfot, the im tomar, the emailo yalfin and the litre maase di boom de dache lota se de karete shetach. Tosfot says, We have so many mitzvot that were quoted in the Gemara, Mila, Pesach. Tamid, Kibud Olim, how about Yibum? Yibum is a classic situation that we have an Asa that is Dachel Odaseh, an Asa of Yibum, that's Dachel Odaseh of Erva Veshet. Ah, why did the Gemara not even bring Yibum as a source for this rule? Says the Ri, Ve'omer Ri, Demeeshet Ach, lo matzei lemeilaf be'alma delit chayase lo ta'ase sheesh bukaret. Re says, Hafuch from Rashi. Re says, Yibum has only one way to do it. The only way to do Yibum is if you are trampling over a lota said that has a karet. That's the, the, the talk and that's the idea of mitzvah Yibum. There is no other way to do mitzvah yibum. Not like Rashi said, there are two ways to do yibum, yibum or chalitza. No, 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 no. Chalitza is not a way to do yibum, says Ri. Yibum you only do if you do yibum, and therefore that is a 100% contradiction. Not like Rashi said, there's a contradiction because you, you, you have to be Michal Shabbos now. No, <laughs> maybe you can also cook for your father on Sunday. Here, yibum, there is no other way to do it if you are not going over the erva of Eshet Ach. And therefore it says the re, it's true that an Asa is Dachelot Asa in Yibum, but that's the only way to be doing the mitzvah. So you can't learn from this abnormality to other mitzvah when they have other options of being taken care of in other ways, like cooking for your parents, not on chops. So let's see the machloket. Rashi says, does mitzvah Asa Rashi says, yes, yes, we learned that from Kibbut Horim. Yibum is a different story because Yibum can do it in two different ways. Tosfo says, no, 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 no. Mitzvah Asa is not Dochelot Asa. And Yibum, you can't do it in two different ways. Yibum, you have only one way to do it. Rashi says, Yibum, you can do it in Chalita or Yibum. And Tosfo says, no, only Yibum is a way to be doing Yibum. What did Tosfo be passing for Halacha? 
let's look at Daf Chet. Daf Chet, at the end of the sugya, suddenly we discover that this is a machloket between the Amorayim. Rava says, after he's all dapping that you learned, Rava says, Erva lo tzricha kra de'en achet doche lo ta'ase sheyesh bo karet. So after we learn Daf Hei, Daf Vav, Daf Zayim, comes Daf Chet, and Rava says, all of that I disagree with. Ma pitom? Ase? Ase lo doche. And so for this pasking Rava Lehalacha, if you look at the Amudal, if you will see there and in other places in the Tosfot along the Dapping that the Tosfot says, Pshita, the En Ase Dochelot Ase Sheyesh Bo Karet. So if we'll sum up what we saw and take it a step further, we see here a machloket between Rashi and Ri in the Tosfot on how to read our Gemara. The first machloket is whether or not we have a daya in the Gemara that proved that Asa is doch elot ase that has karet. According to Rashi, yes, that's what's written in the Gemara in Daf Bav, and you learned that from Kibudorim. According to Tosfot, that limud is not a limud that stays, and he does not read that Gemara the same way. Is a yibum a mitzvah that an Asa is doch elot ase that has karet in it? Rashi says, no, because you have two different ways of doing this mitzvah. And therefore, God had to tell you that you have to do it this way, because otherwise you would have thought that you, it won't be doche at all, that you will only be doing chalitza. According to the Ri, he looks at Yibum, exactly opposite. He says, Yibum, there's one way to do it. Only if you're doing Yibum. Chalitza is not a way to do Yibum, and therefore you can't prove anything from the mitzvah of Yibum. Is a chalitza a way to do yibum? According to Rashi, yes. According to Tosfot, no. And let's take it a step deeper. Why does mitzvot ase doche mitzvot lot ase? According to Rashi, it sounds like the Ramban. Mitzvot ase are from the world of Ava. They're so strong. They can be doche all of the mitzvot that ase. It doesn't matter if it's a strong mitzvot ase. If it's not so strong, mitzvot ase, it doesn't matter because Ava is always stronger from Mira. But according to Tosfot, he has to have a different Savara. He has to say that it's not true that Ahava is always stronger than Yura. Sometimes Yura can be at the same level as Ahava. Because, as the Tosfot said, you do not have this absolute law that mitzvot ase are doche mitzvot lo dase that have karet in them. So, I hope you enjoyed our learning. We tried to take this long sugya and give it a few lights and hold it with the Ramban and his Vara and this machloket between Rashi and Tosot. And I hope you will continue enjoying Masachet Yevamut, which is definitely hard, but also very, very rewarding. Take care, and we'll meet next week, Be'ezrat Hashem, again. Thank you.